Although cows are cute, calyx are not. Do you have problems with calyx? Stay tuned. I've got some great tips and tricks to show you how to fight them. My model and sister Chris. Hi. And uh, like I said earlier, we're going to learn how to fight those calyx. And my sister, like myself, have a lot of them. So we're going to work on Chris's front here. You can see in the front she's got um, a calyx here in the front. And I know a lot of my clients have problems with that as well, where it just kind of splits and you can't, you, you got to fight that. So first things first is I'm going to show you um, a certain kind of a comb. This is a carbon comb. Um, it's it's heat resistant and this is a really great tool for you to have to fight your calyx. Um, this is a normal comb, so it's more plastic and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a carbon comb. You can purchase them at any um, Sally's or Ulta. Next thing we're going to do is our blow dryer. Um, when you have your blow dryer, you want to make sure you have a nozzle on it because we're going to direct the heat directly down on the, the calyx. Let me wet it a little bit first. Before you start styling your hair, you want to attack the calic area first. That way, the hair at the scalp, where it wants to pop up, you're going to address that first so it doesn't have a chance to start popping on you. So I'm just going to kind of re-wet. You can see right here how she's um, popped up a little bit. So I'm going to wet it down right at the root area. So we're going to turn the blow dryer on and one of the main things that you want to make sure you're using is a very hot dryer. You, you Don't worry about it damaging your hair. We're not going to have it on the hair for, for too long. So I'm going to turn my blow dryer on and I've got it at a low speed but a high heat. Alright? So we're just going to take it, we're going to take the comb, the carbon comb, and we're just going to direct that heat right there at the root, right where the problem area is. I'm not, I'm not extending the comb down to the ends, I'm just working right at the root area. Getting it nice and hot. You can see how that's starting to flatten out. I'm get it hot once it's nice and dry. I'm going to turn my blow dryer off. And I'm going to just hold it there until it's cool. What you're doing there is you're using your hot and cold properties. Hot air moves the hair, cold air seals it down. So by heating it, you can see it's nice and, nice and smooth. But Chris likes to have her bangs a little bit full. So now I can go back in and I can put the curl that she likes in. So I've already got rid of the calyx. And I'm going to get it nice and hot around the round brush. Smooth it. And voila, no more problems with calyx. 